I'm author A.J. Mulliken, author of Abnormal and the soon-to-be sequel Escape the Light uh, in pre-production now. What is a point within your creative process that you decide more times than not a character's fate? On the fly. I am more of a pantser than a plotter, so I tend to just kind of go with the flow until the story gets me to where I'm going. I don't necessarily say in chapter such and such this character is going to have this happen. Um, I just kind of write until the chapter ends and I write the next chapter and the next chapter until I get to the point where it's like, oh, we're near the end of the book and all of a sudden here it is and this is what's happening. So um, oftentimes I'm as surprised as you are. Once you have a character's fate decided, how often percentage-wise would you say that fate has changed? I'd say a good 50% at least. Uh, may sound surprising, or, or maybe not surprising, if you're more of a plotter than a pantser. What was the main reason for the change? Fans who love them convince you, you fall in or out of love with them, the story shifts while editing, or your editors made you change it because it makes more sense to go the other direction. Sometimes you get to the editors, or it gets to beta readers, and they're like, this doesn't make sense, or you need to add to this, um, change this around. So you get feedback, and you find that changing the story sometimes makes it better. Tell us about one character you came particularly fond of or grew to despise that you've, uh, I think it's supposed to be fleshed out, Joe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Editing. Uh, more for your audience, and how uh, with that character you went about giving them the depth you needed to make sure the audience stood up and took notice. This character, for me right now, at least in the Abnormal series, is Harper. Um, Harper started out just as a little side character, uh, a tertiary character, a fling of Eli's, uh, and she grew to be much, much more because the beta readers and readers really enjoyed her, so there'll be more growth for her in the sequel and uh, some character development and some changes. She'll still be Harper, but uh, she's been through a lot. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a different Harper. Give us a non-spoiler moment in which a character spoke out against your judgment and changed something benign, but that ultimately might turn into a big deal. I'm going to go away from Abnormal right now and talk about Whispers of Death, my first book. Um, there was a character that was there solely to be uh, a guiding factor, um, a mentor, and as I was writing the big fight scene, the big climactic scene, he shows up in a taxi to save the day. Um, as I was writing it, I was a little surprised. I was like, wait a minute, what is he doing here? Now what am I going to do? Um, <laughs> but he ended up really saving the day and um, literally saving someone's soul. Um, but that's about as much as I can say about it. Because if you haven't read Whispers of Death, you don't know. You can find me just about anywhere by searching AJ Mulliken. That's M-U-L-L-I-C-A-N. Um, and you can find me Instagram, Twitter, AJ Mulliken. You can find me searching Amazon, BookBub, Goodreads, search for author AJ Mulliken. Uh, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash AJ Mulliken author. I guess the right go AJ Mulliken was taken. Or you can go to my website at ajmulliken.com. Uh, and I'm on Story Origin as well, on Asian Mulligan. So um, basically, I have just slapped my name on everything. <laughs> um, so if you're interested, uh, hit me up on all the social medias. And um, thanks for having me on, Joe.